Hi guys, my name is Gunnar Gemskull and welcome to the Sims Free Play New Architect Homes Tour. We have 13 new architect homes that came with the home makeover update and oh my goodness, I feel like that's the most we've had in a long time. So many, wow, some of these look amazing. I'm going to be showing you all of these on a premium lot, but potentially some of them can be built on a standard size lot. So let's go ahead and get started with the first one. Here's the build. This is just a one floor. This is a cute little house. This can be built on a standard lot. And let's have a little look. Ooh, look at that guitar. I've never seen that guitar before, I don't think. Maybe it is part of the... I don't know what it's part of. I was going to say part of the teen hobby, teen idol hobby, but I don't think it is. Possibly. Someone will correct me down below. In these architect home videos, I think you guys seem to always know more than me on what the like where the items have come from or whatever. But it's all good. It's all good. Oh, we have some of the purple onion furniture. I have never used the purple furniture before, and I quite like that actually because it costs SP to use. I've never really used it, but I really quite like it. It's kind of like a purpley theme maybe going on with this house. This is nice. Got a bar back here. Oh, and a purple table. What's this? I think that's like a teen decoration, isn't it? From from the teen section. There's some nice little things in this house. I like it. It's got some spa bathroom furniture as well. It's a cute house. House number two. Again, a one floor and it can be built on a standard lot. I feel like I have to whiz round these houses because there's so many to go and visit. Ooh, look at those built-in wardrobes there, very nice. Some more spa stuff in that bathroom there. Another bedroom, another bedroom, oh goodness. So many bedrooms in this house. I don't think there's anything rare or anything particularly, to be honest, in this house. Although there is some nice bedroom designs. I like that one in particular. House number three, starting to get a little bit fancy and it's got so many of those are they the penthouse windows or the homestead windows? Penthouse, I think. Loads of those. It's a standard size. It's pretty awesome, the design on this thing. Let's take a little look. Got three floors. Ooh, this is really nice. I like it. I like how it looks like the kind of, like when you put it up, the pool goes like, underneath type of thing. It doesn't go underneath, but it kind of looks like it just goes underneath. Uh, oh, there's some of these pictures from the salon place. I don't know whether those are the ones that you have to buy with SP or LP. Maybe they are, maybe they're not. Let's go upstairs. We've got some more of those pictures. I like this house. It's pretty cool design. It doesn't seem to have anything Massively wet. The kitchen is at the top. Was there a kitchen downstairs? No, there wasn't. Cool, it's an upside down house. The kitchen is at the top. There's nothing really rare, to be honest, in here. Maybe this is worth SP or LP, that table. But I like the build, I like the design on that. House number four. Check out that. That looks a strange house. It's built on a teen idol lot, I think. Yeah, this is the teen idol lot, and it's got the teen idol pool at the back there, slightly modified. It's got a little Thanksgiving turkey. Let's take a look inside and anything. Mm, doesn't seem to be, oh, they've got one of these dual screen computer tables and a fish tank. Oh, it has, yeah, it has got some furniture actually. If you've missed out on some of this furniture, the chalet furniture, it's got a huge sofa that is just so bizarrely huge in my opinion it's crazy oh that's nice check out that bedroom i like that with the uh soon as rains behind it. it's got some more fish tanks there and let's go upstairs oh it's kind of got all the teen idol stuff in here another one of those computers it's got the big huge weird rabbit thing from easter easter's coming up soon we must be getting an Easter event, right? I'm sure we must. I haven't heard anything about it as yet, though. And, I mean, yeah, that's kind of... That's it. But, oh, hang on. I thought I spotted a little record player there. That record player is SP. It's 
a strange looking build from the outside, right? But it's quite good inside. There's a few little nice things. House number five, again, it's built on a teen. Is this the teen mansion? Am I wrong in here? I'm sure it is the teen idol mansion. Two floors, we've got a basement as well with this. And oh, a little outdoor sunroom thing at the back. Let's check out. Hmm, this is nice. Nice little lounge area there. Oh, I love this computer. It's so good. Oh, if you missed out on the washing event, <laughs> I can't remember what it's actually called. The where we get all of this washing stuff. It has a laundry room there, so that's pretty cool. Fondue set. You know I love myself a little fondue set when we get them because they are very expensive. That's a nice kitchen, right? So spacious, this place. And then outside, those are cool things. I like these table and chairs, or stools and chairs, I should say. Oh, that nice little outdoor area there. Oh, that's a cinema. A little outdoor cinema and an outdoor TV room. Let's go down into the basement and see what's down here. This is like the kids' place. I think this is like the kids' place. Little Hedwig. Their fish tank. Ooh, so like a playroom. This is pretty cool. I don't know that any of this toddler stuff is LP. I think, yeah, it is actually. I think the bricks are and the push chair. Quite a few of these things are LP. Let's go up. How do we get up? Oh, right at the front door there. Let's go up to the second floor and the spa furniture. A huge, huge, huge kind of walk-in wardrobe thing there. Those of the Teen Idol instruments. Oh, look, there's that guitar. It must be from the Teen Idol stuff. I was just being done before. And do we have, are these the social point windows and doors? Yeah, they are. So we get quite a few of them with this. This is a really nice build. I like this. But, I mean, there's nothing that I'm massively interested in getting from this, to be honest. But there may be for some of you. Here's the sixth build. And I'm thinking maybe they've picked houses specifically that are on this plot. Because they all seem to be on this plot. I think I missed the memo that came out about the the, uh, the whole thing with the teen idol mansions. But this is, I don't know, I was going to say it's one floor. But it's two floors because it's got a basement. And, oh, it's got quite a bit of the chalet furniture in it. It's got a fish tank. <gasps> it's got one of these fireplaces. Oh, I love those fireplaces. They are very expensive to buy. There's a nice little kitchen area here. One of these cuckoo clocks, which somebody mentioned, I think, in the last Architects Hain video, that they are worth SP. That I didn't even notice it, to be honest. But, yeah, they are worth SP. It's a cute little... Hanger. I don't think I've ever used one, ever, in my build. Maybe because it does cost SP, so I haven't used it. I feel like that lion must be worth LP to buy. Let's go and have a little look downstairs. And wow, look at this huge cinema room here. Entertainment room. We got anything that looks cool? Oh, look at this games room. This looks cool. You haven't got access to any of these things. You now can with this house. Or you haven't got access to them. You can build this house and get one or two of them. Oh, look at that little baby's room there. That's cute. House number seven. And we're no longer on a teen idol lot. If that is indeed a teen idol lot. If it's not, just excuse me talking rubbish. And this looks like... Is this the last? No, I was going to say this is this the Latin one that we had in the last that I raved about in the last architect video. It's not. It's amazing though. Look at this build, and there's lots of Latin windows. So if you like those Latin windows, go for your life and build this house. Let's take a little look. Three floors. Oh no, we've got a basement as well. Some of these trees. I think that maybe if, even before I've looked into this house properly, I think that this is going to have to be a house that I am going to build. It's got two fire monkeys. Look at those doors. They are... I've never seen those doors before. Or I've just never used them. I'm not entirely sure. I don't recognise them. They look amazing. Some Latin stuff or Latin uh, fireplace at least. 
one of these retro TVs that I love. I love all the retro TVs. I think they're so great. I love this kitchen. This build is amazing. I'm absolutely in love with it. Cool little pool in the back garden. That's cute. Look at that. I love this. Right, let's go down into the basement. And down the basement... I don't know what that room is, to be honest. But we've got one of those rooms. And, ooh! An ice room down in the basement. <laughs> That's a shock. I wasn't expecting to see that. That's given me an idea, actually, for... I'm not going to say in this video, but it's given me an idea for a build that I'm going to try and do soon. Let's go up. And... Oh, these doors... Are they like the Arabian doors that cost LP? I'm building this house because I love those doors and the windows and... How much is it? Do? It's oh, it's not actually too bad. It's like six million. So I may build it. I was like, I realised that for some people, six million is just crazy, ridiculous money. But for me, six million isn't too bad. There's loads of those doors as well. Let's go up to the next floor. The build is so cool. Like I don't even understand it to be honest how it works. But I love it, and I'm gonna build it in my town. And it can be built on a standard lot, actually. It's only a standard house, so I can get it cheaper than six million. Yeah, I love that. Good job, whoever built that. House number eight, and this is kind of like a pool house. Maybe it's supposed to be a boat. I've built one of these, and it was supposed to be a boat. It didn't really work out, and so I deleted it. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of just surrounded by pool. It looks cool, to be honest. I really like it. Is it just... No, it's two floors. It's going to be, there's probably not going to be really much inside it, is there, to be honest. Got one of those fireplaces, though. I do like those fireplaces. And a big fish tank. Let's go down. I mean, no, it hasn't really got anything. But it may give you an idea to build a house like this. Like, I've already had that idea and it didn't really work out for me. But there you go, there's an idea. Build a house like that that's surrounded by pool. I think they look really cool. House number nine, another cool looking one, one that uses all of those windows again. And I think this looks, yeah, this is a standard house. And it's three floors plus a basement, I think. Yeah, it's got a basement. So, wow, okay. It's got some centennial, centennial replicas, which were a limited time prize, one of the very early quests. Some of these fountains that are 5 SP, 5 LP to buy. One of those computers that I love. These stairs. The French, are they the French chateau stairs? Maybe. I really like this. I like the like the blue colours in it. It's very kind of beach vibe. So loads of these paintings from the um from the salon, which is cool. One of these fireplaces. I realise that I'm pointing out things that I like. Everyone has different tastes, I realise that, but like I'm just, obviously when I'm looking through them, I am kind of looking at various things that I would like in the game, or that, you know, that I would like that SP and LP. I do appreciate that for other people, it will be, well for people, for everyone else, there will be potentially different items that are worth something to them, but you just get to have a little look around. All of the houses, it's got a little look, a little Easter basket with chocolate eggs. That's cute, just in time for Easter. And then, oh, we've got like, we can look down. How does that work? Oh, because there's stairs. I was like, how have they put like a, um, like to look down into the, the basement? But it's just, this is awesome. I really like it. A little pool there, let's go down. How do they get down? Oh, from those stairs that I just talked about. Should me? Actually, that bit's inside, isn't it? I thought that bit was outside, but it, it's inside. It looks outside from as I'm looking at it. Anyway, let's go down. And, oh my goodness, loads of these rose gold. I'm not sure whether they are sp for the rose gold ones. I'm going to have to go and check whether they're SP or LP. And if they are, I don't think they are, actually. I, I can't remember. But if, which, if they are, then I'm definitely building this house because I love those lights. I like this area here. The junk, like, everyone's got one of these junk places in their house. They just throw old toys and things. That's awesome. I love that. What else? There's a little spa. Not a little spa. A little sauna area there. That's so cool. I love it. 
feel like those lights don't really belong in a basement, to be honest, but hey. Oh, it's got a scan. That's, is that, oh no. It is faced, yeah, it's faced the wrong way. It's a Scandinavian CD player there. That's cool. Yeah, I am loving this house so far. Let's go up to the second floor. There's just so much in it. Like, it's hurting my eyes. Oh, it's so cool. They've got the chalet stuff that we just recently won. Oh my goodness, it's got some of this purple. Like, literally everything that I want, it has in this house. It's so cool. Look at that sink. Where's that sink from? I've never seen that sink before. I'm, like, I'm positive. Like, quite often in these videos, I've never seen that before, and it turns out I have. I've never seen that before. I'm positive. Positive, I've never seen that. Somebody let me know where that is from. Have we got another floor? We have got another floor going up. There's just so much. Oh my goodness, it's got these new beds. Like, the quadruple size beds. They're just huge. Look at this front room. This is such a nice little, like, conservatory room on the back of the house. It's adorable. I'm definitely building this. I really, really like this build. And it's got quite a lot of, like, SP and LP furniture in. <gasps> Retro TV. I love that. Absolutely love that house. Here's the 10th house, and we're on a premium size lot for this one. And three floors, I think. Oh, plus a basement. Let's have a look. What have we got? Nothing. Crazy. Like, why have we got a bedroom downstairs and we've got so many floors? <laughs> that seems good. Unless it's, um... I don't know, I was going to say unless it's flats, but it's not. Let's go down to the basement first off. Whoa, the basement's huge. Very open plan. Very large. Doesn't look to be to me. Oh, there is one of those computers. Doesn't look like there's anything. Oh, there's a cuckoo clock. Yeah, so I'm, every time I say there doesn't look anything, I find something. But yeah, cuckoo clock, one of those computers. Another one of those computers. Let's go up to the second floor. Another one of those computers. If you like those computers, this may be the house to build because there's a lot of them. We've got, a, we've got a dual screen computer there. Let's go up, next floor. Hmm. I mean, I quite like it, to be honest, but there's nothing... There's not enough rare items for me. For some people, there may be. I like it, though. Look at that. House number 11. This looks very pretty, doesn't it? And I can spot a fondue set. Oh, yes, I can. Look at that fondue set just there. We've got three floors, and it's very kind of green. Three floors plus a basement, and it's all kind of separate rooms, which kind of baffled. Look at this kitchen. Hang on a second. Are there things missing, or what is going on with this? That's the weirdest kitchen ever did see. Is that a teleporter thing? If that's... <gasps> it's a teleporter. I love those so much. I might have to build this to get one of those. Oh my goodness. Right, let's go down to the basement. Whoa, this was not the basement I was expecting. Full of kids stuff. Like, crammed, crammed, full of kids stuff. So, that's good. It's got a couple of, like, some teen stuff over here. Ooh, any LPSP kiddie stuff I think maybe maybe not actually but there's a ton of kids stuff down there wow right let's go up floor number two that's where the fondue set is oh it's got some latin like a latin bar there and is that a latin table maybe I think it is up to the third floor, and there's a little sauna there. <laughs> How cool is that? You can go camping. Oh, <laughs> that's so awesome. I absolutely love that. Let me see that. Like, you live in that house and you go camping up on your roof. That's so cool. I love it. 
We're back on the teen lots, house number 12. Already I can spot, we get a sci-fi car with this, which is cool. And oh my goodness, this build is epic. <gasps> it's got so many of the um, chalet windows. This looks amazing. I hope that the inside lives up to what the outside is, um, I'm expecting. Whoa. Oh, it's okay. This is cool. Look at this. I love it. Does that go down to the basement? How have they done that? Is that glitched? I didn't know that that was something that we could do. Going from the first floor into the basement. This is like so weird and random. I love it. Like you come in through the front door and there's just this big hole down into the basement. So cool. Loads of those lights. Is there actually anything in the basement? There's not really anything in the... Oh, there is like a kitchen. But well, not like a kitchen. There is a kitchen. <laughs> Back there. Oh my goodness. This house is like just weird. It's one of those houses. <laughs> you sit on the sofa like just looking at the door. <laughs> one of those houses that I think is more about design as opposed to how it works as a house. Which, absolutely. Is, I don't think it is a house actually. I think it may be some sort of spa or something. Uh, but yeah, that's absolutely fine. It looks fantastic. Loads of fish tanks. I mean, maybe it is a house. I don't know. I have no idea what it is. I just know it looks pretty awesome. Loads of the fish tanks. One of those computers. If you want one, some party stuff here. This is so cool. And then was that the last, oh no, I thought that was the last floor. What? No, it wasn't. We've got one of these huge beds over there. I might build this house. I really like it. If nothing else, does that not just inspire you to build something epic? It does me, because that's cool. I feel like, just before I clicked into this, I thought, there's surely like the 12th house is amazing, the third house is going to be crazy epic. Or it's either going to completely disappoint. And so far, <laughs> I'm sorry, but how is that more expensive or the same price as the... Unless this was some epic basement, the 13th house is an extreme disappointment. <laughs> Let's go and see what it's like. It's not even got... No, it's not got a basement. There is nothing to it. Ha Somebody explain. Please explain to me how that... Is 11 million simoleons and the previous one I think this is I'll have to check out how much that cost me there's nothing I'm, I'm literally speechless <laughs> I don't understand that at all let's go out and let's check how much the previous one was okay something's gone wrong here so like the amazing one that we've just been in like the 12th one with the shallow windows and everything the second one from the right is for me, I know everyone's prices are different, is six and a half million. The last one, that one floor thing, is 11 million. It's like almost twice the price. How is that, how is that possible? I have no idea. But anyway, there's a tour of all the architect homes. I think there is one I'm definitely gonna build. I have no idea which ones, but I think there was two now that I am definitely going to build. I'm going to have to go back in and have a look at them. Or actually, when I'm editing this video, I will be able to see which ones it is that I want to build. But let me know what you think of them. Are you going to build any of them? And also, do you ever submit a house? I never build a house and remember to submit it. I need to remember to do that because I just think it would be awesome to have one of my houses on these things. But thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new and I will see you soon for a new video. Bye! Oh